Here's the game plan. It may just be, it may just be your average Tuesday, but nine to five or not, that's no excuse for Jump Steady to not show up in the formal clothing. Still rocking the tie there. I like how we have both him and Razo just showing up with, you know, almost a, not quite the tuxedo, but certainly some formal dress. Certainly dress for the occasion here, as we have Valadin going against Jump Steady. Jump Steady. Sticking with the Palutena that got him in trouble in the winner's quarter set. And Baladin continuing, picking up right where he left off. 40% already with that, but Jump Steady advancing with this Nair Train. Able to weight him down. Not actually got the clank there, so in Jump Steady's favor, as Baladin is denied an extension. We have to grab meanwhile and Vladen be reversing himself with a dancing blade and that dolphin slash out of shield continuing this assault at ledge. Back throw from Vladen just to harass him a tiny bit more. The down tilt. Continuing this patience that time the dolphin slash out of shield will make a quick retreat to the ledge but still 50% in the lead in that back air. I'm not quite sure if Jump Study was ready for him to just go immediately out of disadvantage, but that is exactly what he did. Invincible Bear from Jump Study will actually put the Latin at the ledge now. A second one will get him for a second time. Falls down with an air. And caught in that lingering hitbox of the explosive flame. Jump Study, despite falling behind early, is going to come back out on top, taking the first stock. Of course, Lucina without a bonafide kill throw, and we are seeing the effect it has that even that up air going to leave him alive that time. Right as he got from the ledge, Baladin holding his ground and finding the stock without taking any damage onto that untouched second stock, and look at that, that landing up air going to be the start of something for Baladin. 37% onto Jump Steady. Jumping out at disadvantage, something that Baladin has scouted, has specifically said that it's a happy that Jump can do, especially with this character, but Jump has been rectifying that in the recent months, and in that particular instance, isn't going to cost him too much. Returns of the Explosive Flame, almost got the up air. He serves as an air dodge and does well to get that Dolphin Slash out of shield, gets the best hitbox of it as well, sending him directly outward. Landing Nair will be just the ticket, and another Dancing Blade fades back around the Explosive Flame. Valadin is just not leaving this. It is his real estate, this ledge. making this ledge his permanent residence. I have to set up a mailing address at some point. An excellent spot dodge to get around the dash grab attempt. The dancing blade afterward is going to be his reward and Valadin with a two stock to get the first game of winter semis. That is exactly how he took the first stock where he ended out with a third one. Jump Steady got a bit too over eager with some of these dash grab attempts, and now we're going to see the ZSS finally come out of the shadows. Falling below and jump in no hurry to get him out of the way. And especially against a character such as Lucina with a large disjoint, that sword really going to be a major obstacle for ZSS to overcome. But ZSS known for quote unquote camping in your face and Jump Steady's ZSS certainly no exception to that rule. 
he will leave you at that mid-range throwback with some of these Zares. Even if you manage to parry them, you're not getting really too much out of them. Rapid Jab, but he actually manages to dash back and roll out of the way. Dolphin Slash out of shield, leaving Jump Steady at 117 tethers back. But still, whether it's Palutena or ZSS, he's just been unable to find his way off the ledge, and that down smash, Valadin will just show his propensity, not biting early and jumps over it. And that flip kick easily going to be met out from Valadin with an aerial. Down smash in the wrong direction, and now Valadin knows that Jump Steady is getting a tiny bit desperate. Valadin did manage to conserve his jump, so is going to be able to make it back safely. Jump Steady changing his mind on the edge guard as he turns to face forward with the down smash. Excellent spot dodge on the grab attempt, too. Pickle outward from Valadin. Gentleman will get him up to 131, but... I mean, Valadin has been refusing to let go of this first stock, and it's absolutely played an effect here. Even that attack, as he didn't manage to get the tech, he's still going to be living. That time with the up smash, though, Valadin finally going to be losing that first stock more than two minutes into this game, too. That side special will be out of the range. Backer out of shield from Valadin will be his ticket back into advantage state. And that flip kick was just a bit too obvious. Goes for the shield breaker as a bit of a mix up, probably to delay the timing. Shifts his shield to get rid of that and almost gets rid of that second stock with a dancing blade. Get up attack from Jump Steady. And now he's starting to come into his element here, returning fair from Valadin just to protect himself. And that flip kick actually going to be met with the up air, so Valadin picking him out of the air. Jump Steady onto his tournament stock here. Rapid jab and missed attack on top of the platform. Jump Steady a tiny bit slow to react. Buries him with a flip kick, though that should be the stock, and is carried off the top with that boost kick. And now Jump Steady, if things look grim for him at the start of this game, they're looking a lot better for him now. Only 40% in the red and already able to get a conversion off of the parry. Dolphin Slash out of shield though, putting him up to 101 and just this cautious gameplay. Another fair, he's at 116 after a bit of damage from the void. It's really do or die time for him now. Fair puts him up to 151. This time Valadin's facing forward, so the back air not going to be an option. Runs up with the up tilt. Actually going to be getting rid of that second stock. Jump steady falls behind and falls out into game two. Quick sip of water. As we get on here, this is a best of five, of course, so Jump Steady will have one more opportunity to switch back to this Palutena. Excellent work from Vlad, not dropping the shield in the face of the air, but runs right into that grab attempt, able to get the down throw bear. And Vlad, out of a jump here, is going to have to expend that Dolphin Slash a tiny bit early. Jump study unable to throw out a counter or perhaps an aerial to challenge. This time goes for the high Dolphin Slash and succeeds, but he's been tossed back into the blender offstage. 
Unable to two-frame with that 16-frame active down tilt. And that time the teleport actually going to land him on stage. Very active F tilt as well, but Valadin did well not to rush in too early. Down throw forces a jump out of disadvantage, but jump steady just going to be careful enough to take refuge underneath the platform instead of trying to challenge him as he went back. Tech's in place and a life saving tech in place, but Droth's shield right as that Dancing Blade final hit was coming out. Reticle gets forward and able to put the shield up in time before that close range explosive flame, but not going to stop him from throwing out another move. Dodge attack actually going to carry him off the top. It's not a move you see kill too often, especially with Palutena's non shortage of other kill moves. Nair, back air, all of her tilts pretty much at this percent. A lot of throw conversions, back throw. Fair if you get him off stage, but dash attack kill from Palutena, especially on PS2, a bit of a collector's item. And that time, Vladin controlling that patient attack unleashes the double edge dance right at the exact right moment. But jump steady actually managing to get him back off stage. Vladin used his air dodge and needed to. Throw caught in the explosive flames as jump steady returns. And there, as he cycles back forward, out of jump, so has to use that dolphin slash high to mix him up, but it's time for Aladdin able to control himself going with the shield and dash attack. It's gonna be putting Valadin up to 135. No safety from that double uh, from that dancing blade, rather. Go back into the grab. He's going to go for the... No, he isn't going to go for the back air. Goes for the falling Nair instead. Up smash at the ledge. Although that should be... Oh, no, it isn't the kill. Not perfectly positioned at the ledge, so... Able to get the grab as a result of that, but not able to get the kill. Dash attack once again actually going to carry him off the top. Not perfect DI from Valadin. And all of a sudden, Jump Steady has a window back into this game. Down throw fair. Going to be another bit of damage. Jump facing backwards. You can tell that he has the back air in mind. Aladdin continuing to be on the offensive with the fair. Another Nair, but this time air dodged around and Valadin comes forth with a dash attack. Another spot dodge will leave him into the grab from Valadin. Knows that the dancing blade will not be enough to kill, especially just nowhere close to the ledge. Last and final hit of Nair actually going to be the ticket, but nowhere to be found. Valadin just put himself back towards the ledge. And I'm not quite sure Jump was expecting that retreat. Back throw. And this has always been the game plan for Valadin. Never allow Jump Steady stage control because you know that he'll risk options like that. Three dash attack kills in one game from Jump Steady. And right as he lands the invincible dash attack, Valadin had the option to go to the ledge and didn't. And that's going to be the game 
in Jump's favor. As we return to PS2 for game four. And a lot better signs already from Valadin as he gets 44% onto jump. Down throw miss tech on top of the platform leads to the up air for jump steady. And continuing the juggle with another up air. Fair not going to meet its mark on the face of shield. Reverses himself to go for the nair. And really smart because you could go for the juggle off stage, but lowering, lowering yourself and going for that fair or that nair, excuse me, in the other direction leads for the potential for a follow up, even if it didn't come out in that particular case. Landing back air from Valadin. An excellent tech from Jump Steady. But run up, raw bear from Valadin. Going to remove that first stock. One up tilt and another up air. Com not a combination. That's the word of up airs and up tilts. Gonna be already putting more damage onto Jump Steady's second stock and that forward smash. A hard call out. This time, Jump Steady on his tournament stock. Valadin still with all three remaining. And this is just game four. Still living in the air, but that explosive flame barely clipping him. Dolphin Slash out of shield. That's going to deposit him on top of the platform. And at low percent, excellent awareness from Jump Steady to just go for an immediate follow-up rather than attempting to reset neutral. Rolls right into the back throw. Dash attack pops him up, but able to air dodge around the up smash. Grabs in the wrong direction. Down throw up air. Actually, Jump Steady's brought this one pretty much all the way back. Down throw, but air dodges around that up air. Uses the drift to put himself back into an advantageous situation. Connects both hits of Nair there to put Jump Steady. Up to 98, Valadin yet to be touched on this final stock. Tech's in place, but that's going to be the invite for the Dancing Blade. Valadin takes this loser semi set 3-1 over Jump Steady. And just a calculated assault goes for the option he never wanted. And Valadin going for the option that Jump Steady never saw coming.